Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's special family church lesson, where we use fun objects to teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to use a really cool object to teach our lesson, which is Nerds! I love nerds! Can I have some? No. Nerds, we need these for today's lesson. Can I do a trick? What kind of trick? I can make them disappear. Really? Like yeah. magic? Yes. Okay. Look, there's a bird! Where? Where's the bird? I did it. <laughs> did you eat them? Oh no. Hey guys, my name is DJ. I'm here along with my lovely assistant and niece, Lacey. And today's lesson is going to be about judging others. Judging others. We as humans tend to easily believe in rumors or even make rumors up and judge people. Rumors? Judging people? What does that mean? So a rumor is a story or information about someone that gets whispered and passed around without knowing whether the story or the information is true. And rumors are not only negative, they can also be positive or even neutral. And judging means to express a bad opinion of someone's behavior or having your own creative thoughts about someone that may not be true. So Lacey, do you ever judge other people? Sometimes. Oh, on what occasions? Maybe at school, anywhere. You just never know when it could happen. Yeah. Me, myself, I actually judge people quite a lot. I sometimes judge people without even knowing. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. For example, I think my dog Noah is the smartest dog in the world. Do he's you... not that smart. <laughs> I know. He's not that smart, but he's my dog. So sometimes he I is. think he's I think he's the smartest dog ever. Yeah, he is. Pretty smart. He is pretty smart, right? Smarter than my dog. <laughs> so why do we judge? Well, the root of all judgment comes from one place. Our egos. When we see someone behaving in a way that we disagree with, we think, Oh, I would never act like that. I'm better than that. I'm more righteous. I'm more hardworking. I'm smarter. And by doing this, it makes us feel temporarily better about ourselves. But it sure is a bad, bad habit. So speaking of rumors and judging others, let's go over some top myths that people have about Christians. Are you ready? Yes. Number one, Christians don't believe in science. What? That's not true. It's not true at all. As a matter of fact, we love science. And do you know why, Lacey? Because God created science. That's right. God created everything in this universe, including science. And there's even proof in the Bible. Let's look at some verses. Isaiah chapter 40 verses 22. He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. Wow, what's this? The Bible describing the world as round well before we could ever even know it? The Bible describes the earth as circle, just like what all scientists say. Wow, that is amazing! Okay, second verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 41 The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another, and star differs from star in splendor. So scientists say that each star up in the sky is unique and different. But the fact is, it's not visible to the naked eye from Earth. Yet, the Bible already declared that each star is different from one another. This is again another scientific fact that could not have been known by man when it was written. Wow, God had a lot to say about science. <laughs> Myth number two, Christians are close-minded. Actually, this one's kind of true. Christians like to live their lives according to the Bible, and that means following the truth. But I should remind you, Christians are typically open to new ideas about science, medicine, psychology, art, and life in general. In fact, Christians are usually fascinated by learning, listening, and growing. After all, when someone comes to faith in Jesus, 
They enter into a relationship with the creator of all things. And that might be the hardest thing for people to believe. Myth number three. Christians are boring. Christians are nerds. What? They're not boring? Are you calling me boring? And I'm not a nerd. <laughs> I am not a nerd and I am not boring. <laughs> I am not boring. <laughs> I am not boring! <laughs> See? She's fun! I said I am not boring! We are not nerds. This is false. Christians in general love to have fun just as much as the average person. Some of us love extreme sports, dancing, wild adventures, and great parties. In fact, following Jesus can put you in some pretty exciting situations. But, however, if by fun you mean doing bad things, judging people behind their backs and making wrong decisions, then people are correct. Christians are not into that kind of fun because that kind of lifestyle never brings joy. Those things are only short-lived fun with a lot of pain and consequences. Okay, it's time for today's verse of the lesson that comes from Matthew 7 verses 1 and 2 where it says, Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So in a simpler term, what this verse means is that don't judge others. If you do, they'll judge you back. And also to the non-believers, don't judge us because Christians, we're good people. But what I have discovered is that Christians live more happier, more productive, and live strong independent lives. So while it's easy to judge Christians and people might call us nerds, what I have discovered is that these Christians go on to make our world a better, brighter place. Let us demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson we like to call Breathing a little life into the world And all we're gonna need is A box of nerds A bottle of Diet Coke A piece of paper and a balloon. This balloon is supposed to be the world, but as you can see, it's kind of deflated lately. Not a lot of life. And along comes the Christians, that'd be the nerds. They are fun, funny, creative, hardworking, and life-giving. So we're gonna put them inside the world. While the world might judge Christians as boring nerds, we help call on the power of Holy Spirit, and that would be the bottle of Diet Coke or Pepsi. And let's watch what happens now. Wrap the balloon right around the top of the bottle, and the nerds are gonna fall in. And let's see what happens. Wow, the world is filling up and it looks healthier. Now that's what I call the revenge of the nerds. Well remember, we're not out for revenge and we shouldn't judge others either. Good point. I guess the best thing to do is to live humbly and give them the benefit of the doubt. Just like we want them to do it to us. So holding back on judging others is a wonderful thing. So Lacey, what did we learn today? I learned that it's easy to, to judge other people. Like Christians, by the way, we look, dress, or act. 
and it may not be fair or accurate. And it's certainly not nice to judge others. Very good. Well, that is our lesson for today. We would like to thank everyone that came out to this early morning lesson. Before we end this video, I have another trick. Another trick? Do we still have any nerds left? Yeah. We have this full box of nerds left. I can make the whole box disappear. Are you going to eat it again? I won't. Is it really magic this time? I said the time? whole box. The whole box will disappear. Like real magic? Yes, the whole box. Okay. Like the box part two. How? Count to three. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, count to three. One, two, three. It's magic! Hey! You stole it all! Sorry guys, we'll see you guys next time. Give it back! Yeah. <laughs>